What's going on, everybody? Hey there. It's Pablo. And I'm Laura. And we're the Sierra State Liquidators. Um, so we're having to do our video this way. We posted on the Reseller Society um, that we were doing a ride-along. Well, when we reviewed the, the video, uh, it was unfortunate because uh, the rain that was hitting the windshield, it was really coming through the video and it was really loud and kind of noisy. Um, I guess loud and noisy are the same thing. Kind of. It just didn't turn out very well. <laughs> it, it wasn't a good video. We actually had to do the video a couple of times because we were like, oh, it's kind of raining a little, we'll stop. And then we did it again when it stopped raining. We're like, yeah, we're good. And we were doing so good. Yeah. And then all of a sudden up ahead, it was like torrential downpour. And it's actually kind of funny to watch back at the video because we're like, okay, we need to stop now. And you can barely even hear us because it's raining so it hard. It was bad. Yeah. So we decided this would be much better yeah. so that you could actually hear what we were saying. Yeah, we had to abort that. And so from right along to a haul video. Me. Same thing. Pretty much. Just without the driving. So um, we went to Rome, Georgia, uh, which is like 30 minutes from where we live. And if you live in Georgia, you know where that is. If you don't, well. You probably have no idea. You have no clue. But it's in the northern, uh, western part of Georgia, mm -hmm. northwest. And it's always good. It, it tends to always be good. Yeah. Knock on wood. It's always good. And, you know, being that it's 30 <laughs> minutes away, I don't like to come out empty-handed, but it's a risk. It's a gamble that we take whenever we venture out that way because we don't know what to expect. But right. it's always served us well. I guess it's kind of always a gamble, though, no matter if you're driving five minutes up the road or 30. It's true. It's very true. Um, should we just jump right into it? Yeah, let's show them what we got. We're going to just jump right into what we have. And, well, let's thank everybody right quick. Oh, um, yes, absolutely. Everybody that subscribed from yesterday. We were on um, Chad and Ronnie's show. And you guys um, have shown so much love to us um, with... Uh, subscribing to our channels so thank you to everybody that has subscribed thank you for all you guys that are uh, been with us since the get-go and those that are thinking about subscribing just push the button push the button you won't regret it just do and thank you to chad and ronnie for having us on oh yeah that we was appreciate fun. that that was lots of fun and if you don't know who they are and you somehow stumble upon us which would be totally bizarre but if it happened you should go check both of them out. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Golden Finger Picker and um, uh, Heart, he, I think he changed it. Hearts Picker, I think. Is is it Hearts Picker now? It, you changed it, Ronnie. <laughs> I know you did. And if you didn't, then I'm losing my mind. Which is very possible, too. It's very possible. But, yes, thank you, all of you. We really appreciate it. Um, Ronnie knows I love him. I do. He's awesome. Um, so right into it, and actually there's a few other things that we didn't get from um, this particular haul that we just wanted to share with you um, just to, because it's really cool stuff. Yeah. Um, but let's start off with that bag. That bag was pretty funny because there wasn't a price on it, and she just happened to be wearing um, a shirt that... An RA bag, just like a duffel bag. She was wearing a shirt when we um, got up to the register that correspond with something in, in the uh, cashier's life. Mm -hmm. And we won't go into detail into it, but it, it touched them in a way. She did a, a charity walk, and they just happened to have uh, the, the that, that particular um, cause very close to them. And they priced out the bag for us right there at the register. I don't know that they're supposed to do that. Yeah, I don't really think they're supposed to do that, that unless there's, like, if it doesn't have a tag on it, I think they're supposed to take it from you and put it back in the back and have it reprocessed. But um, he he was looking at it, and I didn't actually realize it didn't have a tag on it. And he was like, there's, there's no price. And I was like, oh, okay. And he's like, I'll just go ahead and price it for you. So he actually priced it for $1.21. He was so sweet. Yeah. Um, and I was... I was touched that he was touched by the shirt that I was wearing and knowing that I not only was supporting the person that I had the shirt on for, but 
in a way also supporting him. So it was sweet. He, Pablo heard him telling his co-workers after we left that yeah. I was wearing that shirt. So it was neat. He was pretty excited about it. Yeah. And, uh, but he, <clears throat> yeah, he priced it right there on the spot for us, and that was pretty cool. Um, so for two bucks, we picked that up. Um, there's not a huge margin in those things, but it's there. it touches with a lot of people. When you put NRA as one of the keywords, you're going to be pulling up a lot of people. So if anybody wants to travel, a uh, little travel duffel for um, whatever guns they might have to go to the gun ranges and stuff like that, that's going to touch with a bunch of people. So NRA is going to be a huge keyword on that. Absolutely. Um, so that one's cool. We should get somewhere around 15 to 20-ish. I'm going to say around 15. Yeah. Uh, conservatively, but <laughs> when asked more, but we'll probably sell it for around fifteen. Um, let's go to my side. This time. All right. Um, I like to dabble with the hats and stuff whenever we go to thrift stores and Goodwills and things like that. Some of them vintage, some of them don't don't have to be. Now, for anybody that is new to reselling, someone that's considering getting into it, and they're using us as uh, some sort of resource of education, here's a tip. Um, whenever we go and look for hats and stuff, I do like teams. I like going in and I like grabbing teams that have been around for quite some time. So the older teams, um, tend to have like a deeper fan base. And what I mean by that is like Green Bay Packers. Those guys are some hardcore fans. Um, and it's like a family fan I mean, base. They've like... been around forever. I mean, they can have stock in the team and basically, that's a different type of loyalty altogether. And in, you know, Chicago and um, Pittsburgh, Steelers. I mean, they just, it's an older team. It's been around for quite some time. So their fan base is pretty nice. Picked up this one right here. It's in really good shape. Um, it is, of course, NFL product. And that one, um, you know, we picked it up for a couple bucks. Um, we get around somewhere again, around 15 these are a bunch of smalls, and smalls are good because they're quick, easy to post. You, you can turn a profit pretty fast. Um, we do university hats. We just sold one, actually. I was going to mm -hmm. uh, bring it up, but we're gonna, we've are gonna we got it to package up. Um, it's the University of Denver, and it's going to Texas. So whoever the person in Texas that bought it must have gone to the University of <clears throat> Denver. They saw it on there, and they bought it. And... You know, pretty decent little profit on it. And something I'll say for hats, if it um, is obviously not a new hat, you know, sometimes they'll have new hats there with the tags still on and everything. Okay. Um, be sure that you check. Like, I know if any of you have ever worn a ball cap and been sweaty, like, check this yeah. portion right here Don't of the hat. <laughs> because there have been once or twice where we've gotten excited about a hat and grabbed it, and then we get it home, and it's sweaty right here. Yeah, yeah that nasty. See, like, we tell you these things from experience. Yeah. Because nobody is perfect. Let me just go ahead and tell you that. We've all made mistakes. Every, not this guy. He's not. He's the one who picked up the hat with a sweaty ring. Right? I did. Okay? <laughs> and I'm the one who was like, really? We bought this? Anyway. I did. Um, but yeah, just check it and check it over. Make sure that, um, and if it does have any imperfections on it, like there's a pin mark or something like that, be sure that you are going to be able to remove that. And if you can't, be sure that you photograph that really, really well in your pictures and, yeah. you know, put it in the title, description, everything, explaining what... Yeah, we've um, sold some stuff with the defects imperfection is. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I mean, if it's something that you think... Like, if this Pittsburgh hat had a pin mark or something on it that I couldn't get off, we would just let them know. But most of the time, I can... I'm kind of magic. I can get things removed pretty easily. But anyway. And here's okay. another one. This one's kind of a, like, you know, feltish... Uh, it's kind of velvety, not velvet. It's mm, not. Looks it's, like felt. What is that, velvet? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's my impression for the night. Take it or leave it. Um, and so right inside there, Steelers. It's yeah, got it's like the a nice little, little clasps, hat. and the clasps hold it. And well, you can't see the Steelers after you clasp it, but that's if you're not liking the Steelers that day, I guess. It, I guess if you're mad at them, you can clasp <laughs> it, and then you can't see it. It's underneath there. But it's got the symbol on the back. Again, it is, of course, an NFL product. Um, but it's in really good shape. Um, this won't need much. It, it might need to have a, look, a lint roller gone over it. Uh, sometimes the stuff that you pick up might need a little work, might need a little love. That's okay. It's all part of it. 
it's all part of the process. I actually kind of enjoy it whenever we pick something up and it just needs some love, like you said, and you know, you can take it from that and get it really cleaned up and then take the pictures and everything and it looks so pretty and Definitely. Um, then it sells and yeah. that's always exciting. Whenever you put that work into it. Uh, your side of the table. Um, so we, if you've been watching our shows or at, know anything about us, we love to kind of dabble in a little bit of everything. We don't yeah. really have a niche. We don't have something, one thing that we specifically focus on. Um, we both just like like it all. Anytime we go into a thrift store or Goodwill or anything like that, we literally start at the door and work our way around the entire store, go through the clothes. Yeah. The entire store is scoured by us. Um, we pretty... leave nothing unturned. Plastic aisle, the holiday aisle, the toys, sporting goods, everything. Bags. Yeah. It's all looked at. Yeah, we don't skip anything. No, not no. really. Um, so, why I say that is because we found this oh. beauty. In the, um, it's so big you can't hardly even see it. Um, we just <laughs> scan it across. Um, <laughs> in the sporty goods section, obviously, it's a tennis bag, tennis racket bag. It's actually a triple bag, so it can hold three tennis rackets. Um, yeah, the tag's on there. It's like totally sealed oh, in the new. plastic. Yeah, um, we actually are gonna, we have it on eBay already, but we're gonna post it on Amazon as well. Yeah, um, we scanned it. We scanned it on Amazon. Oh, did you put it on Amazon already? Well, no. Oh. I haven't put it on there, but I scanned okay. it at well, the store. Well, it's gonna happen. Um, and on Amazon, it's like $54. Yeah. Um, and really? And I think we got it for too. like two bucks, two ninety two, I believe, $3.292. Um, I say decent rank. I mean, it's decent-ish for sporting equipment. We've sold some sporting bags. Um, we sold a bat bag. It was like one of the backpack type for um, like a little league player. Yeah. Um, and I think we sold we sold a lacrosse bag. Yep. So and it was used. It was, both of those were used. This one's brand new. Yeah. So. Um, We've done well with the sporting goods section at at Goodwills and yeah. thrift stores and stuff. Um, trying to think back. Well, the fins. Yeah, so I was thinking you could talk about. Did we talk about the fins we, before? Um, we talked about them in the Reseller Society. But oh that's it. yeah. You want to talk about the those. fins? Um, he found them, so he should get to talk um, about them. Yeah, we have this like mild competition as to <laughs> who can find the better stuff, and uh, I think we're neck and neck right now. Well, on that because the fins are pretty awesome. The food fighters were really cool. There's people watching this. <laughs> We're going to discuss this afterwards. Uh, the fins by far. Okay, let's uh, talk about the fins. The fins were Scott Hawaii, and Scott Hawaii does not make these fins anymore. They're from uh, the 80s and 90s. Uh, these particular fins are used still to this day by professional uh, camera folks in the water, um, professional boogie boarders and stuff like that. They they, yeah. they have them on hand. Um, and what was crazy mm -hmm. about it is that again, going through the sporting goods section uh, as usual, and I saw them. I picked them up, and I could feel that weren't just some uh, Walmart, you know, little play things. These are these right. are some heavy duty rubber that they were molded uh, into, and it was one piece. The where your ankle kind yeah. of gets hooked into it. From the yeah, back. Yeah, like the stirrup on the back of it. Yeah, the whole thing was molded into one piece. Just um, really, really heavy duty. And I was like, eh, I'll look them up. So Scott Hawaii, I'm walking through the aisles. I find where she is with the um, with the cart and the baby. And I'm just like, and my eyes just go and just blow up when I saw what they were selling for. And I'm like, look. And she <laughs> says, huh. I was like, yeah two pair over there and we're like running <laughs> across the store to get it's like have you ever been a part of black friday like shopping that was basically us in the goodwill yeah. running to the sporting goods section and <laughs> with really, nobody over there <laughs> it was my fault my number one of my rules and I, I learned this on from different folks um whenever i was thinking about doing reselling you take ownership of it there's nothing wrong with taking er ownership of something while you look it up I didn't do that. I just kind of like, well, I put it down and I, you know, casually started looking it up. That could have gone very bad for us because we picked them up for five ninety five a piece. Mm -hmm. Five ninety five a piece turned into three hundred dollars. Yeah, 
That happened. So, Foo Fighter on that. Uh, <laughs> that was awesome. One went to Spain. Um, and, and the then, guy's name was the same name as our baby. How cool is that? That is true. His Real name fun fact was, was the same. And the other one went to Hawaii. I think so. The other one went to Hawaii. Yeah. Scott Hawaii went back to Hawaii. <laughs> Um, that company now is just making sandals and stuff like that. We actually found a forum where people were talking and asking um, the company if they were going to come back out with them. They were like, yeah, we're thinking about making them again. Da, 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 da. And that is a market where it's depleted, but there's such a overwhelming you know, following that there's people asking for it to come back. Right. So we had our, our, our thumbs on a product that was very sought after. Um, somebody threw an offer, we declined it, they threw a, another better offer, and well, we accepted that one. When you have something in high demand and you know it, you can counter offer. We always do good until sold, best offer on most things. Mm -hmm. Not all things, most things. Especially when they're 100 and over, you know, it easily will take a best offer. Especially when we have next to nothing in it. But... There was such a demand, we went ahead and did it anyways, and did a counter offer. Now these are not quite to the same caliber, but we found these as well. And by we, I mean her. And these are, again, some swim fins. These are from... Uh, Triton. Well, I was going to say from the Goodwill in, oh. in Rome. Uh, but they it's are Triton. Triton. <laughs> You're right. They are they're Triton. And these... Um, are, are really nice actually. Yeah, Can they we are. picked them up for how much? Um, I think they were $4. Okay. $3.93. So we'll probably make some more around 20 on these. These are not as like super state of the art and like as super tremendous quality like the ones we found. You can still feel that there's some good quality there. These aren't plastic, right. these are a rubber molded. Uh, pretty much throughout. There's no separation in it. It is throughout. There's no separation here. Oh, I was like way off. <laughs> There's no separation. Here, I'll Hello. Hold it. See, like it's one whole piece. It's all one piece. You can see from there. So that is, you know, a better quality than than your little rinky dink ones that are plastic and you have the little pull string here. It's right. ridiculous. Yeah, these and are like size. They're not like they're not adjustable, one size fits all kind of thing. So. So those are those are pretty cool, and it's that time of season. I mean, it's it's summer, so or it's about to be summer. Is it officially summer yet? No, I don't think so. I don't think it's till like June, right? Something like that. Oh. I'm not. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So my side of the table was still full, so I'll keep going on my side. Yeah. Now this is actually from an estate sale, but it was so super cool. I loved it. And I just, I, I made them give me a number on it because there wasn't a number. I was about to throw out a number, but their number was actually better than mine, so I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> That's always good. So this is a, a vintage sign. It is Piedmont Airlines. Okay. Picked it up for nine bucks. Uh, sells for about... Um, Around hundred dollars ish, ish. Yeah, it's really nice. It's not like one of those like flimsy metal signs. No. Pablo thinks it's porcelain. I think it's more porcelain. It's pretty intense. Like it's heavy. It's got some weight to it. And, and in really, uh, really good condition. Yeah, it's in in really good condition. So pretty excited about that. Uh, and I've never heard of Piedmont Airlines, so I'm. Guessing they're not in business anymore. So there was someone that, um, and then he's an older guy, and he was like, I showed him what I had found, and he's like, he's like, yeah, I remember Piedmont Airlines. I was like, okay, there you go. Good. Apparently, I'm too young for that. I don't remember it. Um, the next thing that we're gonna show you over here, and we're just kind of showing you the the coup de gras type stuff. Yeah. It's been a while since we've done a video and shared with you guys what we found and what's been going on. So yeah, we've we've been, uh, you know, we talked about this in the in the 
um, reseller society and other things that we've been setting goals. Goals are good. If you're not setting goals, you should set goals because goals are get you places. What? Yeah. Nah. That makes sense. Makes sense. I yeah, just said it so fast I confused myself. Okay. Get your thing and I'm going to say something. Okay. All right, you say um, something. I'll grab Goals this. are very important. And I think that sometimes, you know, we have long-term goals. Um, and whenever we first think about those long-term goals, let me finish what I'm saying. Um, when we think about those long-term goals, it can kind of be overwhelming to think, oh my gosh, like long-term, Pablo wants to stay home also and let us do this all the time. That freaks me out. Um, I like to focus on small goals at a time. So my goal for the next 24 hours is blank. My goal for the next week is blank, et cetera, et cetera. And I think that helps to accomplish goals a little bit better. You can have your big goal, but I think it's nice to break things down so you're not so overwhelmed with, you're covering my face, not so overwhelmed with the big picture all at once. That's my two cents. You're welcome. You're welcome. So this is a Kodak carousel projector, slide projector. I actually nice. found it in the toy section. Yeah, I don't know what it was doing there. They don't know what they were doing. Um, it's not a toy. It's beautiful a shape. And um, the picture has like one of those actual slide, I don't know what it's called. Chad would know. Um, Chad would know. One of these things. But this one doesn't come with that. It comes with a carousel um, slide stack holder. So Stack holder and a little manual. Yeah. I mean, it's in really good condition, you guys. So if you can see this. You can like... see the picture on the box. It comes with this little guy here. So you can stack the slides up and they fall into place. And Looks like that. Yeah. It's like in really, really yeah, like it's really mint perfect condition. Shape. The only thing that it doesn't have with it is the remote, um, so you could sit a little bit further away. But it still can advance. Like it has a little um, yes. button here on the side, so you could just sit next to it to advance. I mean, I know that not necessarily a slide projector, but I remember in school, like if you got the opportunity to help the teacher, especially like elementary, middle school, to help the teacher, you know advance the slides or whatever. Maybe I was just a nerd. I was asleep in those. <laughs> hey, if it was film day, I was out. I was <laughs> I was in the back of the class. This goes in that Quiet box. as a mouse. <laughs> uh, anyway, salute. so, you know, if a teacher wants to do a little slide presentation, I'm certain that one of her most favorite students, which was typically me, not the guy sleeping in the back of the class. She was a teacher's pet. Got me where I needed to be, okay? <laughs> Would love to press this little button right here to make this bad boy go. That's all I'm saying. It's in perfect shape. It works great. I think that was in the... Oops. It was. I tried to get you to put it back when you were not listening to me. I was asleep. <laughs> High school all over again. Thank you. You're welcome. So, no, this thing's in really good condition. I mean, the... The video is not going to really show it as well as we're looking at it, obviously. But there's like within the realm of the top here, there's not a mark anywhere. No, it doesn't it look is. like it's ever been used, which is fabulous. And uh, you know, you try to find older things like this in this kind of condition. It's not always going to happen. I mean, when you do, right. it's a great feeling to be like oh my god i can't believe i just found this and i think i'm getting this right i don't know good enough it worse. um we have also um found a couple of things we got we went to a yard sale and oh, yeah. bought um a reel to reel mm -hmm. i think they showed a picture of that a video of that on the reseller society mm -hmm. um but we got that um we gotta do some work cleaning it up it doesn't fully function which we just explained that no, when we posted it we did a bundle deal on that and got got it for a really good deal right so the fact that it's not fully operational is totally fine yeah we can actually sell as a 
just not working parts only, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And we'll for still sure. make good money on it. And uh, so we got to clean that up. We'll probably work on cleaning that up tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and get that posted. Uh, yeah. And then we got a Pioneer. What's that? What was that called? This uh, thing is a chore to put back. A receipt. I should have never opened just it. Just leave it. We'll I was going to leave it to y'all's imagination. Um, no, I'm done now. A Pioneer receiver. Five right? years later. Uh, yes. And um, we cleaned that up. It was beautiful. Um, we sold it. Then the person then, apparently was overwhelmed by having to do any work on it. And they're like, well, I don't know what to do. I was like, you know what? Send it back. Yeah, because so we sold it as, as is, but we he was upset. We took it back anyways. He was actually super nice about it. And when he sent it back... He took like immaculate care he really of did. packaging it to send it like, back. Like we packaged to us. it well, but I was like, wow, I'm like, impressed. He did a really good job. For you to like re be returning this to me and really care nothing about it, thank you. Yeah, they so, took really good care of our stuff. But it um, was so well that like I took it out and tested it to be sure that it still worked like it did, and then like retaped it and put it right back in his box. Yeah, we definitely didn't want to get scammed like they took some part out of it yeah. or anything, but it's, it was the it was same exactly condition as when we got it. And, um, we put it back in the box that he set and relisted it and by God, we sold it again. <laughs> and it was not a problem at all. Vintage electronics. I do like vintage uh, electronics. There was a little where, while there where we cursed them. So we, we, Towards the beginning when we, we first yeah, we started made some out. Mistakes and... But we didn't, I mean, again, it was just being... Young in the reselling game? That's very true, yeah. So we so made some young mistakes. Just be sure that if you you know want to get into selling electronics of any kind, new yeah. electronics, vintage electronics, whatever, that you just make sure that you know you really test them well and um, yeah. you know, cover your, cover your behind very yeah. well. Yeah, try to get it for as cheap as possible. Obviously, obviously, who buys it for as much as they can? No. <laughs> That is Let's one hope of no the, one that's, that's watching these videos. It's like the most like resell. useless tip ever. Everybody knows to buy low, sell high. It's like the stock market. You buy low, you sell high. Well, there may be somebody that doesn't know that, and you just like blew their mind. If I did, you're welcome. Put in the comment section. We're gonna have a meeting face to face, like <laughs> Skype or something, because. God love you. If you think that you're supposed to buy it for the same price that you're supposed to be selling it, we need to talk. We need a, a private combo, me and you, uh, <laughs> person out there with that kind of mentality. Uh, no, buy low, sell high. Uh, do we have something else to show? Or are we just, uh, mm -hmm. are we out of things to show? Well, no, we just well, wanted to show a few things anyways. You wanted anyways. to talk about the Onkyo over there, but I said it's too I did, funny. and that <sighs> heavy piece of machinery is much heavier than this um little carousel that i just pulled on the on the table uh an onkyo multi-disc cd player over there onkyo is an awesome brand it sells well onkyo um you know sony obviously um you've got uh, some of your bigger brands of course what, like Pioneer? Uh, Pioneer yeah. does well, especially the older stuff. Older Pioneer stuff does really well. But vintage stuff. This one's not so vinty, but no. because it's a CD player, obviously. Um, but Onkyo is a great um, uh, 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 system. And we picked it up for a pretty decent uh, amount. I think it's just under 10, around 10, mm -hmm. something like 10. But we'll, we'll get somewhere around like 50, 60 for it, somewhere in that vicinity. Um, yeah, we actually had an Onkyo sure. remote a while back and sold that. That was well. Yeah. That went well. Yeah. One of the questions that was posed on last night's show um, was whenever you, do you ever collect anything? And I did say that I collected a few things. And on this recent haul that we're showing you of, I did pick up something. <laughs> it is mainly because my son really liked it. And... I could see us using it because it's going to get really warm and you never want your kid to overheat. But And let me also add that this guy and the baby are the most hot-natured people I've ever met in my life. They so, really are, though. Yeah. Get like, hot very easily. Yeah. I mean, she, over the years, 
has learned to deal with like having the fan on year round because even in the winter time, I ha I have a fan on. And it's not like a ceiling fan or a box fan. It's like one of those industrial fans. It's a Stanley brand. Stanley fan, like with the like hamster wheel or whatever you know that like pumps out the air. Is that what it's, it's like, called? Yeah, we'll go with that. Anyway, <laughs> it's like you already said it. You're gonna <laughs> ask me. You done, you done told the people. Was that like, okay, it's a hamster oh. wheel. What am I supposed to say about that now? There's a hamster that runs There in is him. a poor, <laughs> defenseless little hamster in the... No, no, not. We, no hamsters we, were harmed in the making of this video. <laughs> that is all electrical. It's like construction grade. I it mean, is. It's got sockets on the sides and uh, everything else. It's intense. Why did and, we get on the topic and of yes, family? I... I... Because I'm hot natured. <laughs> oh, anyways, what I picked was, and it's brand new... <laughs> huh? For 99 cents, it's brand new. The baby liked it. I like it. Um, yeah, I do keep stuff when I go there. I get stuff for myself. I don't care. It happens. We actually have, um, we like to do toys as well. And, this feels amazing. Um, I had posted a little um, <laughs> like toy construction hat and Probably a little toy Tonka here. trailer or tractor. Um, and the other day I was in the office and I came out here and our son has the construction hat on and he's pushing the tractor around. I'm like, those really aren't for you, little guy. But I let him play with them until he got bored and then I hit yeah. them. Yeah. And it, it, he does tend to play with a lot of stuff that we get because we do, again, we hit up just everything. So we do have a, a bunch of kid stuff that we pick up and there's a, again... This stupid thing is heavy as all get out, and I don't. We're gonna we're gonna sell that one locally. Um, yeah, I, don't, I think it's on eBay, but do we have it on eBay? Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Yeah. If that um, bad boy sells and someone a, pays that shipping, got uh, you know, good on them. Um, it's called a Busy Zoo Activity Cube, so it's like this wooden. A lot of times I'm in doctor's office. If you're a mom or a dad or a grandma or whoever taking care of kids and you go to a doctor's office um it's like a wooden cube and it has the little um beads on the top with the yeah. um, metal pieces and it has um the alphabet that spins so you can see the letter and see an animal that corresponds with that letter um should i go grab it it has a little bit of everything on there no it's okay um and he loves to play with it Thank so God. just gonna let him play with it until we sell it um Trust me, we're not depriving our child. He has so many toys. Our home looks like a daycare center. They're everywhere in every room, which I think is normal for parents to have toys everywhere. But it's yeah. true. They're all over the place. This right here that you're seeing is like the <laughs> safest that we can show you without being like super cringed that you're seeing our baby explosion of a house. We he are is parents. Into everything. We have a 14 month old. This is all you get to see. Okay? Because <laughs> all that stuff over there. It's like a tornado. No, this is all you're going to get to see. He is a tiny tornado. It's crazy. He is crazy. a tiny tornado. And I love that little tiny tornado. He's special. And he does not care what you tell him. Put that down. Don't touch that. Whatever. And he just looks at you like, <laughs> go away. I'm going to touch so this regardless. He's so strong-willed. Yeah. I was telling a friend today that God didn't give me patience before he gave me this child. And she told me that that was not how it worked. That I was supposed to get him to get the patience. Okay. Well, there we go. I'm getting it. Mm. Full dose. Yeah. I thought I had patience before him. Yep. Well, Whew. it's been... It's really nice to get back at it. It is. I it's, missed this. Yeah, it's it's good. We're gonna be we're gonna be doing this much more. Yes, I promise. I know we've said frequent. that before. We, but we did say that once in the last video, didn't we? We had a lot going on. Which God. we kind of all got sick and then we just got busy and yeah. there's a lot happening. Life happens, but life happens. We'll make this a priority for sure. We're gonna make this a, a big priority. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna get our equipment straight. And do some ride-alongs, and um, yeah, exciting stuff to come. I'm excited. Absolutely. Yeah. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. Tonight. Absolutely. If you liked what you've seen, the content that we have on there, please push the like button wherever it's at down in this section of the Below screen. Below us. 
Um, also, please comment on yeah. you know future videos that maybe you want to see. If there's some content that you're a little fuzzy on, or just want us to hit on, or whatever, you know, put it on yeah, there. Yeah, we love ideas. We will. We might consider your video. And also, I'm thinking about this. Is might be an official announcement about this. Um, from not from my private collection. You're not no. We might be doing a giveaway. Yeah, free giveaway. Whenever we hit, right, like 400 subscribers now. I say when we hit a thousand, we're gonna do a free giveaway. So a thousand subscribers, free giveaway, and that's exciting. The prize will be shown in a future video. When we get closer. It's still not coming out of my private collection, so do not ask. All my tabletop lighters are mine. <laughs> my and it's cow. My thing. cow cowboy jar from '93. Don't even think about it. They're not getting it. But something cool will be yours for free, and it will be sent to you on our dime. Just because we like all you guys, and we like that you like us, and that's enough of being mushy. I'm not going to be mushy. Pablo's not known for being mushy. No, I'm trying. I'm trying to be mushy for you guys, but <laughs> I'm trying not to do it on overload. Um, but again, thanks you guys so much for all the love that you've shown us uh, with subscribing and liking and more stuff and the comments, to comments we love it absolutely so from our house that you're not going to get to see except for what you see now to your house thanks so much for stopping in and we'll see you next time bye guys peace